Tragic S Club 7 star Paul Cattermole died without leaving a will and with debts eating into the finances he left behind, a report has claimed. The former chart-topping star died at the age of 46 in April this year, and just weeks after the group had announced plans to embark on a reunion tour. Back in February, the group, which includes Hannah Spirit, Bradley McIntosh, Tina Barrett, Joe O'Meara, John Lee, and Rachel Stevens, announced they would be hitting the road this year. They said at the time, after eight years it feels amazing to announce that we're reuniting and performing together again. We're so excited to bring the S Club party back to our fans across the country to celebrate 25 years of S Club 7. We can't even believe it's been so long. Music and friendship have always been at the core of everything that we've ever done. We hope everyone can join us for one big party. But tragedy struck just three weeks later when Paul was found dead at his home in Dorset. Now a new report has claimed that Paul was struggling financially when he died. A source told The Sun that Paul was, was not doing well financially, ahead of his death, and continued. Although it is shocking a member of the group would not be well off, people who knew Paul might not be surprised by how little he left. They added, It is absolutely terrible that S Club made tens or hundreds of millions but Paul died like this, in near poverty. While the report states Paul let total holdings of £35,773, but owed more than £20,000 in debts and bills, and thereby leaving a remaining £15,489 after deductions. The star himself had previously commented on the surprisingly low income he and his fellow S Club stars earned while at the peak of their fame. Despite selling millions of records worldwide, being involved in endorsement deals, and featuring in a string of hit TV shows, the group were reportedly restricted to individual earnings of just £150,000 per year while record label bosses reportedly pocketed millions. During an appearance on ITV's Loose Women, Paul explained that he was desperately trying to be cast in a reality show in order to boost his income. He said, I've wanted to be on them, Dancing on Ice, Strictly, The Jungle, I've wanted to do all those. But they haven't wanted me for whatever reason. And in a 2019 interview, Paul complained of record execs earning far higher salaries than him and his co-stars. He lamented. The thing people were buying into came from us. And to see people get hundreds of millions of pounds and all the credit, no. And Paul also complained he and his bandmates were, paid a pittance, by Hasbro for a doll collection that used their likeness. The S Club 7 members had hoped of making impressive earnings from the upcoming tour which will now be held in tribute to Paul as it is set to go ahead, although Hannah has reportedly dropped out of performing. Paul explained his own excitement about the tour, explaining he had consulted tarot cards for an insight as to how the tour dates would turn out. He told the Mail Online previously, I saw Wheel of Fortune, that's good, that's good luck. I genuinely did look at the cards. There were other cards as well, Ace of Clubs, Passion, New Beginnings, your cup overrunneth with genuinely passionate emotion. It's positivity, something to be passionate about. S Club 7 released a statement following Paul's death in April, saying, We are truly devastated by the passing of our brother Paul. There are no words to describe the deep sadness and loss we all feel. We were so lucky to have had him in our lives and are thankful for the amazing memories we have. He will be so deeply missed by each and every one of us. Last month, it was revealed Paul had died of natural causes and had suffered from an underlying heart condition. John said on the one show in July, there's lots of stuff planned. We are working with the British Heart Foundation to raise awareness of underlying heart conditions, obviously because of Paul. As we conclude this video, I would like to take a moment to express my sincere gratitude to each and every one of you. Your time and attention are extremely valuable and I am truly grateful that you chose to dedicate them to us today. Remember that this journey is not just ours, it's a shared experience that wouldn't be the same without you. So, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for being a part of this community, for joining us on this adventure, and for allowing us to be a part of your day. Your day.